Window fashion has come a long way in the last few years. What I grew up calling curtains is now referred to as window treatments in the interior design industry. And it's not just a fancy word. What we expect our window treatments to do now are blackout lining, we want to sleep longer, or motorization. We're going to learn a lot about window treatments today, but we're going to start with Window Treatments 101. We're going to talk about lining, inner lining, hardware, and I'm going to show you a few styles. Take a look. This window treatment has a swing arm style hardware and our stationary panels. We used a toile fabric for the body and banded the sides in green silk. The ruching at the top is created from the fabrics that flop to the front and looks like a ruffle effect. These operational panels can be moved in place with an attached wand to cover the large windows at night. The oversized Moroccan medallion in willow blue is a large pattern that brings the perfect touch to this room. This panel is attached at the pleat with buckles. It has a masculine style. The body of the fabric is a French flower sack and has pleats underneath in a paisley pattern that adds color. No hardware was used. It was mounted on a board and hung to the ceiling to elongate the window. These panels for this laundry room provide much needed pattern at the window. They are grommeted and placed on a one and a half brush nickel rod. The length is just past the window sill, but short enough not to get near the water in the sink. This Roman shade is in heavy upholstery weight cheetah fabric. It's easy to move up and down with the clutch cord system. This style is great installed on the inside of the window. Now let's take a basic tour around the hardware. You're going to need rods, finials, brackets, and rings. Let's talk about um, the rods. Rods come in such a big variety, from a wood rod, this is a wood crackle in a three inch, to an iron rod in one inch, one and a half inch. So you need to choose the appropriate size. Next, if you want to use rings, you need to make sure that you use the rings that are just a little bit larger so that they can slide on your rod. Don't buy them the same size. Also, on this window treatment, we have an end cap on one end and a finial on the other. You can get a ball finial, you can get an iron finial. Just make sure that the size works with your rod. Now for the brackets. This is very important. You want to make sure that your bracket size fits your rod size. Also, the projection on this is very important. That means the length you need to measure from the wall all the way out to your rod and see how much space you need. Take into consideration your blinds and your molding around your window. Now, I have a tip for you. Be sure that you use lining and inner lining. Let me show you. On the back of a window treatment, there is what we call lining. On the interior, there is an inner lining. It's sort of a soft felt feeling in the center and it's called bump sometimes in the industry. Whenever you use lining and inner lining, you get a designer look. And remember that all of your window fashions can be motorized. So whether you want to cuff, band, or roof your material, make sure that you line and inner line and make sure that you use the appropriate hardware for your window treatments. And that way you can give your curtains a run for their money.